more work today on what I'm calling the Mistress's Special. And I've actually had a lot of questions about this. What, what is a mistress's car? How do you know it was for someone's mistress? And one of those things... Well, I don't technically know it was for someone's mistress or not. Where I used to work at, one of the shops I was at doing work on cars, the owner of it used to call cars like this a mistress special because they would be ordered when a mistress would demand of the wealthy individual whom she's seducing that she knows is married that would that he would buy her a car and it would always be a special car it wouldn't be just a base model Cadillac no you had to have the coupe de ville and when such things were the case, the husband, not wanting to be told out or have his wife find out, would go to the dealership, find the particular trim package, custom order it with as little as possible. And that would be a car like this. And you'll ask again why I say that this is one of them. The lack of trunk lock, the only basic pieces, little things like the door trim that you get with the Coupe de Ville package, same with the little marker lights, but there is no mirror on the passenger side. There's no automatic trunk release. And posi traction rear end? <laughs> no. Watch. See, if both wheels spun forward, it'd have posi. Standard diff. But, you will note that on the progress of working, there's now a drive shaft in there. With four shiny new bolts. I've already pulled one of the jack stands. Yes, I use Harbor Freight jack stands because, quite frankly, I don't value my life. But, I hope that explains a bit more of what a mistress's car is and provide some further insight. Now, for all five of you who are still with me, this is once again the extent of the damage to the gas tank. And I do have a replacement. It's going to be going in the car soon. However, the next step is I'm waiting on a service manual so I can check the torque settings for the bolts for the rear end, well, for the drive shaft that I just put in. And then I'm going to replace all of the vacuum lines, run it off of a fuel cell to get it moved around to where I can work on the gas tank on my driveway. Because I absolutely hate doing work on the dirt when I have a nice workable driveway over there.